Hello everybody, welcome back to another part of Arcanum. We are back in Tarant, as you can see. Everything seems okay. And now let's see what we can do about solving the mystery of the ring. Now let's go to find the owner oh. anyway what we know as the owner of the ring it's not the one true ring but it is a ring 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 alright and now I'll shut up I want to sell my stuff so this uh, auto route on the uh, map uh, section is fantastic especially in Tarant Tarant still haven't found a way to say it correctly hmm. what's this? Panari temple? okay let's have a look hmm. ah. level 20? no no too powerful for me I'm in need of your services. I need apprentice training. Heal. Oh, screw you. I must be off. Uh, sure, give me a pamphlet. Let's see what's the pamphlet about. Are you confused in the new world of magic and technology? Are you sad about a lack of reverence for the old days? Then the Pandaria religion is for you. Based on the teachings of the great elf Nasruddin, the Pandaria religion offers truth and guidance in this world of quick remedies and soothsayers. But don't believe us. Listen to what others have said about the Panari and its beliefs. <laughs> this is so funny. Um... I have never been happier. I even sold my staff of hideous death. Vermian Dune, former dark necromancer. Panari good. Ugg. Onga. Teg Skullcrasser, former ogre salmon. Or salmon. Those Panari buggers are alright in my book. Proc Hillegman, former half oak bounty hunter. We accept all races, all walks of life. Come and share in the ancient elven wisdom and see what, how it applies to life today. We are always open. Come on, come one, come all. Uh, this is funny. Alright, thanks. But I have my doubts I'll be joining the Panare religion anytime soon. Wait. Check the map. All right. Now this is the entrance to the possible owner of the ring. You can see this huge well, mansion, but I'm not going there just yet. I want to go and sell my extra stuff, get some money. Need more money. Right. What's this place? It's the Parnells. Okay, I'll come back later. This looks interesting. Come on, move. Alright. Uh, 
the, 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 the little straight, sir. I'm not bad from you. Uh. Oh, come on, nothing. Well, that was pointless. What does he have? Okay, what are we wearing? 916. Mm. This looks good. Oh, come on, they're very expensive. Not for healing. Nah. Yeah, I don't think so. Ah, wait, what's this? Divine magic, vapor, due to fire, stun, body of water, resurrect, resurrect, huh? Resurrect, or whatever. Tempus Fujit. <laughs> sanctuary, charm beast, what's sanctuary? Allows the target to walk among the undead. Mm. Extinct. Alright, then give me one of them. Oh, more exiting scrolls. Okay, I have two, I think they're enough for now. Uh, let's see if this guy will buy. I mean, there's a good chance he'll buy them. What the f... Baleful Hound. Okay. Locked. 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 I think this store is open only after midnight or something. Alright. Um, Magical Smith. Hmm. Uh, who is... Gilbert Bates. Aha. Uh -huh. Many thanks, sir. So he is the inventor of the steam engine. Okay, let us barter. You on this? Ah, oh, it's a fine sword. No? Okay, take this one. No. Ah, oh, why not? It's a shame. Sword of Sickness. That's light. Although it looks a bit like um I mean it's longer than a broadsword. So it's probably a two hand sword. It looks really good too. Okay, what else does he have? Um both terror both terror. Nice. Sound red armor. Mm, steel water blade. I think that's the same as the one I have. Axe of strength. Mm. Quality hammer. Mm, crossing hammer. Mm. Minute plate metal of regeneration. Oh. This would be nice, but it's too small for us. Um, no, chain mail, chain mail, shadow shield, shadow leather, elven chain mail. This is good. AC 14, damage resistance 23. Much better than ours. But we need about 400 more. Dragon skill leather. I don't think so. And helmet, helmet of light. AC3, damage resistance. Uh -huh. Perception minus one. Hmm. But we get light. That's the best thing about it. Okay, I'll consider it. Nine, it's Anglo, War Gauntlets, Gauntlets. What do we have? Oh, gauntlets. Well, this is definitely good. Check them. Check them. Check them. Hmm. 
so war gunlets could be good, could be useful. AC six, damage resistance eight. We don't get any AC with these gloves. Thinking they might be worth it. Some extra strength, um, defense. Okay, give me them. So you see, you don't want them. All right. Let's see. From th from thirty six. Well, total AC forty. Okay, damage resistance twenty nine percent. AC forty six. Damage resistance thirty two percent. All right, good enough. But we need to sell the rest. We're carrying too many stuff. We don't need. And since we got rid of the uh, the Virgil fork, fork, uh, we need to do something about uh, weight. So we're gonna have to do that again. I know this part of the game is not exactly the most exciting for most of you. But it is a necessary part, so it is what it is. Is he the guy? Yes. Let us barter. Okay, take this. Yes. Okay. Fine. All right. Why not? Okay. Does he have anything we could use? I doubt it. Yeah. Oh, katana is nice. Three twelve one three. Three twelve one three. Hmm. Not as powerful as the steel water blade, but quite a bit faster. Okay, nothing else here. Don't know if there is anyone. Is there anyone else we can sell stuff to? Yeah, there are two shops there. We might be able to sell the robes. Perhaps something else too. Like the ammo we have. That would be nice. Uh, go there. Let us barter. I'll not buy that, I'll not buy that, I have no need for that, no need for that, and no need for that. Hmm. He doesn't have anything good either. Oh well. Let's see the woman. Let us barter. Restore life, restore the life of the target. Ooh. Anyway, uh, take the robes, no? No? Why not? I mean, these are good stuff here. Okay, what's this? Oh, the telegraph. We're supposed to go to the telegraph. Alright. Uh, do you have a telegram for Virgil? Alright, here. Telegram. We have discovered something interesting concerning our friends with the strange amulets. Stop. I'm off to investigate my theories regarding them. Please accept my humblest apologies on my inability to meet you with you in Tarrant. Stop. I understand all of this must be a bit disconcerting for both you, both of you. How does he know we are two? If you have questions concerning the Panara religion, stop by any temple and speak with a priest. Stop. I believe there is one in Tarant on the northern end of Lion's Head Circle. Stop. When you have the means, travel to the village of Stillwater. Stop. I leave word with the innkeeper at the Bleeding Rose Inn as to where you can find me. Stop. What? You, you, ah. Okay. Well, obviously we don't. Okay, perhaps there is a store there. 
well, Virgil is not longer is no longer with us, so he cannot really help in that matter. But let us trade. Mm. Anyway, take the ropes. Yes, finally. Okay, do you want the sword too? No. Mm, no, and no. All right. Now the other thing I would like to find to buy is um, a keyring. Let us barter there. And now we save space with all the keys going into the keyring. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Not interested. I don't think we have anything else we can sell. Ah, arrows. Good, sell them all. And bullets, yes, all. Nice, nice. I don't think he has anything else. I mean, the potions are nice. Okay, let's take uh, one, two, one. Oh, just 37. Okay, I'll stock up then. Uh, yeah, create this one too. I think we'll be fine with that. Definitely. Alright. Thank you. And now let's go to Gilbert Bates. Let's go. Ghostbusters. Let's go. Let's go. Tarrant is really a massive place especially if you haven't uh, played this game before it can be quite daunting to daunting to you know try to explore the whole thing and uh, find your way around I think it was the very first time I played this game that I was frustrated a bit at least don't remember how much Alright, so here's the entrance and it's locked, so let's talk to the guard. Whose house, whose house might this be? Hmm. I have a matter of utmost importance to discuss with Mr. Bates. I have a ring that used to belong to Mr. Bates. Mr. Bates will be extremely upset when he hears of this. Hmm. What level is here? I'm probably too high for me. I'm still very low level. Ah, uh, you're lucky, man. How can I get to see him then? Attempt on his life? Uh-huh. Saka. Okay, so he has a bodyguard. Nevertheless, it's imperative that I see him. Hmm. You have picked my interest. What else can you tell me? Okay, I'll take care of them. The end of Ten Hands Alley. Okay, here's a key. Okay, I'll be leaving now. And you're level 40. Oof. That's a good thing we didn't start anything. Way too powerful. For now. I think this is the Ten Hands Alley. Let's go to the end of it. Um. I advise you to change your tone lest I change it for you. Please sir, I'm only here to help the saboteur problem. It's so annoying, I cannot be evil right now. Because he's like 20 levels higher than me. Um, I must go, good day to you. Alright, now this way 
the entrance, I mean. And it's this way. Okay, the problem is the engine is there. Can cause trouble with the magic. So anyway, um, what I'm gonna do is save, quick save anyway, and uh, time advance to um, what time is it now? Uh, two o'clock. Okay. So ten hours. Let's advance eight hours first. Alright, let's save and let's advance two more hours. Okay, I don't see anything yet. Okay, let's advance one hour. It is one o'clock in the morning. Don't see anyone. Oh shit. Okay, run, 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 run. Okay, can I actually. Oh, uh, yes, do that. Oh man. Okay, this is a problem. Hmm. Tell you what. Let's do. Level 8, level 7, level 6, okay. One jolt. Ooh, this is gonna be a problem. And let's drink uh, one light fatigue restorer. Ooh. Okay. Another orchestra champion. And another drink. One jolt. Okay, much better. Ooh. Oh man. All right. Uh, one jolt. Okay. One drink. Oh no no no! Yeah. Ah, stupid. That was stupid. Okay, a single player, last save. Okay, this time I'll try to be a bit more careful. What time is it? Oh, it's not. Uh. Crap, move away. Okay, one more. And drink. Drink, drink, drink. Okay. One jolt. And turn. Okay. One fatigue restorer and one life. Okay, jolt. Um, one more jolt. Yes. One of them is down. Good. What is he doing? I don't know what that was, but I don't like it. Okay. I'm not going near there. I don't know, perhaps he planted a bomb. Well, the orc is doing good work, I think. Oh, come on. Good job. Come here. 
Alright, I'm gonna wait a few seconds. I don't like what he did there. I don't know what it was, but it looked like he was planting a bomb. Okay, let's check the human bandits here. Dagger and a straight jacket. That could catch a good price. Mm, why not? Okay, let's try this. It looks like we killed them. Don't see anything else here. Mm, oh, bottom. Unlocked. Nothing really interesting. Okay, let's heal ourselves. And let's get out of here. I think we did okay. Let's quick save. So, yeah, you're welcome. Now, I like how the light. Oh man, this is such a beautiful game. All right, uh, map. First we're going to sell stuff as usual and then we're going to talk to Bates. Hmm. Oh no, we cannot go there. Because it's closed. Where are we? By the bridge, okay. Mm, I'll go over there. This must be open. From what I remember, it's open after midnight. Nice. Is it cold? Nothing. Oh, I see you have my roommate. Um, I would like to receive apprentice training. Persuasion back, so never mind. Who is Gilbert Bates? I'm most appreciative, madam. Madam? Oh, it's a woman. Okay. Let us barter, my good woman. No. No. Mm. No. 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 Oh, he's not good, is he? Forty-one coins. Forty-one coins. Fifty-six. Nah, nothing yet. Oh, this is quite good. Gilliam's helm. Six twenty-nine. Hmm. One eight three twelve. That's good. Now, how can you get this? Six twenty nine. Hmm. Well, she doesn't buy anything else from us, so we cannot buy it now. I'm gonna have to wait till another day. All right. <coughs> We're gonna advance time till morning because I doubt Gilbert Bates will see us right now anyway. So advance time till morning. Good. Now go and sell, sell stuff. That's cheaper. Okay, how can you get this? Need um hmm. 29 more 29 
I don't want to sell one of those. Okay. Let's check the guy next door. He might be able to buy the hammers. No, he doesn't want them. Why don't they want them? It's so annoying. Alright. Where are we? No, he doesn't want them. Okay, can go there. Now if you play this game, you'll see it on your own. You're going to have to do all this traveling and buttering if you want to go anywhere in the game. That's how this game is. Mm, just trading. Yes, take it. Take it. Take it. Okay, so the dragons are all that are left for us. Mm, no. Don't really see anything there. Worthwhile. Mm. Could use a magical sword of shots, but we lack the money now anyway to do that. So let's go there. Oops. Talent Telegraph, Count Stubborn, General Store. We might be able to buy our uh, jackets. Uh, sometimes uh, when you when your path is uh, blocked by other people or not, the um, oh wait. The uh, auto route thingy just cancels itself, and you'll be surprised how many bugs the game had on release. I mean, amazing amount. Actually, not too surprised if you know the um, the developers of this uh, game, since unfortunately they have quite a bad <laughs> reputation for releasing games which need uh, several patches to or at least big ones to f uh, fix a game it's the same really hmm. but they do fix them so you know that's something all right uh, let's go to mr bates Almost there. Alright, I have removed the saboteurs that have been plugging me. You have been most gracious. Yeah, finally. Now let's up put the point into some good use, right? I was thinking of uh, using persua persuasion. The ability to convince someone to do an action or that you are telling the truth. This skill is dependent upon your charisma. Well, our charisma is... What is our charisma? Eight. Okay, we can raise it once. It might be useful for us. Alright. Let's go. Huge metal door, and he's upstairs over here. 
Gilbert Bates, level 20, and I think that's Sakura. Human God, level 35. Okay, we don't fuck around now. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Gilbert Bates, as I'm sure you have surmised. I'd like to extend my thanks to you, sir, for putting an end to the difficulties at my factory. I've been informed that there is a matter you wish to discuss. Hmm. Quite so. I'd like to ask you about this ring. Great gods! How did you come by that ring? I went back in time. No. Uh, a gnome gave it to me as she lay dying. A gnome? What manner of tomfoolery is this? Are you certain it was not a dwarf? Of course, I've never seen a skinny, beardless dwarf. Yes, I, I am familiar with the dwarves and their customs. Tell me, was there anything distinctive about this fellow? He had a scar over his left eye. By Alberic, I knew it in my heart. That was no gnome. It was Stena Rockcutter. I suppose it could have been a sick dwarf, but his beard... Yes, I know. It is madness, but... Please, tell me, did he say anything to you before he died? Did he say anything about... Uh, about me? He said he had escaped to warn us about the evil. The evil? What evil? And where did he escape from? He didn't say. I was hoping you should you will know what it meant. Something horrible must have happened after I... After I... Did he s say anything else? He referred to you as a boy. Why would he do that? I do not know. Even though dwarves reckon time differently than humans, he must have realized that I am now an old man. Perhaps it is because I was but a boy when I... When I betrayed his trust all those years ago. How did you come to betray him? That... that is quite the long tale. A tale of my shame, it is. I'm listening. It is ironic that my greatest mistake is that which brought me such wealth. As a youth, I was enamored of all things dwarven. So I sought out the nearest clan and attempted to impress them with my grasp of their technology. They laughed. It was obviously a novelty to them. A ridiculous human who had a natural bent towards technology. I suppose it didn't help that I was a mere 14 years old at the time. I became something they humored to entertain themselves. Stena was the only one who truly called me friend in all those years. And betrayal is how I repaid his friendship. It was he who first showed me their steam engine as he knew I could appreciate the beautiful intricacies of its design. They had left it to rust in a corner, as they had very little use for the device that would reduce the need for sheer physical power. Imagine a dwarf relying on a device to do his digging for him. It's preposterous. I asked him if I could tinker with it, perhaps improve on it, as I knew this was the key to becoming truly a part of the dwarven world. I quickly devised a way to use it to power a pump for draining the mines. When I fell all over myself trying to explain it to them, laughter was once again their only response. I knew I had to somehow gain their respect, so I hastily sketched some schematics and set out to prove my theory. The struggling human mining company that I brought the plans to offered me a share in their mines for the steam pump. I was ecstatic. I had not a care for their mines or their money. I desired vindication. When I returned to the dwarves to boast of my accomplishments and be welcomed into their clan, they were gone. The inventions came quickly after that, fueled by my anger and confusion. How could they have denied me my place amongst them after all my labors? Somehow I felt I could still prove myself to them. I continued searching for them in all my spare moments, but to no avail. 
But then, they came. The robed ones. They appeared to me late one night, and they warned me to never speak of, nor try to find the dwarves again. Still being a mere lad, you can imagine the terror that put into me. As my wealth and power grew, I shook off some of my youthful fear, and hired the first in a long chain of investigators to locate Stenar and his clan. None of them ever returned with any worthwhile information, and some never returned at all. The ones that did told of vicious traps and creatures attacking them from the shadows. As word of these failures spread, it became more and more difficult to find souls brave enough to take on the challenge. But why did he send me here with your ring? He knew that ring would lend veracity to your tale. I gave Stenner that ring the last time I saw him. Now he is dead. If only we knew what he meant by the evil. I met a Panari acolyte who thought it had some religious meaning. I don't put much stock in religious ramblings myself. But if you feel it could help you to get more information on the Panari, you should go to their temple on the northern end of Lion's Head Circle. I'm more concerned with who killed Stenner and why, and what all this has to do with my relationship with the Black Mountain Clan. So what is to be done now? There must be some clue left in the Black Mountain Mines. I am certain of this. You seem to be a resourceful individual. Would you be interested in searching the mines for some clue as to their whereabouts? I would make it worth your while, I can assure you. Hmm. I'm anxious to solve this conundrum as well. I accept. Splendid! Here, let me mark your map with the location of the Black Mountain Mines. I am certain there must be some clues to be found there. Please, return as soon as you have found anything. Hmm. May I ask you some questions before I leave? Of course. What do you wish to ask of me? What can you tell me of the recent attempt on your life? There's not much, really, as Chaka is given to overzealousness in his protection of my person. He rendered the interloper lifeless before I could question him. All he had on his person was an amulet bearing the symbol of the Molokian hand, the eye in the hexagram. The Molokian hand? They were a religious order of assassins some 500 years ago. Rumors of their continued existence surface periodically, but are usually proven to be hoaxes. I figure this for a new group trying to adopt some of the prestige of the name. Hmm. They seem to be after me as well. Let us hope for both our sakes that they are mere pretenders to the name, then. I would be loath to have the authentic Malokians out for my blood. Why do you suppose they tried to kill us? I do not know, but I am beginning to believe they are behind Stenner's death. This all seems to be pointing to my involvement with the Black Mountain Clan, doesn't it? That is why I feel it is imperative to find out their fate. Our lives seem to be dependent on it, in fact. Hmm. <laughs> Some of our lives more than others, eh? Yes, it would seem I am well protected here. However, the more staff one has, the easier it is for one of them to be bribed or replaced with an assassin. Also, my notoriety keeps me a prisoner in my house. They will always know where to look for me. You, on the other hand, can blend with the crowd, so to speak. Hmm. I must depart. Wait, what about the ring? Don't I have it? Yeah, I still have it. You have returned! Tell me, what news? I have found no new information since we last spoke. Okay, this is strange. You have returned! Tell okay. Usually you are able to give the ring back to him and get some money. Perhaps we can do it later.
Alright, so what's next? Well, we have to find more information about the Black Mountain Clan. But that will be for next time. Thank you very much for watching.